Thank you for listening to the Golden Hour Drip podcast with me, Logan Lee Miller. Enjoy the show. Welcome back to the Golden Hour Drip podcast. I'm your host, Logan Lee Miller, and today's mini drip episode is going to be about change. One thing remains consistent, and that's change. That is the only thing that is promised to stay the same. Change. It, it always happens. Personally, there was a time in my life where I feared change. What it meant, what it might bring to my thoughtfully planned out scheme, <laughs> schedule. I love to schedule. I love to plan. I love being in control of things. And change can mess a lot up. You can have these carefully laid plans and then something, there's a bump in the road, there's change. Something that you did not foresee, something, you know, that was inevitable, but it, was, it happened and you have to deal with it. So a lot of people might not like change because they're scared of things not remaining the same. They are scared of, you know, the unknown essentially, right? That's what change is. It is doing something that you have never done before. And I think change can be really, really powerful when you are trying to do something that you've never done before. So you have to do things that you've never done before. The, the saying goes, you might have done like all this stuff to get where you are, right? Like if we reflect on our past and everything that we've done, we might think, oh my gosh, like I had to wake up and I had to grind and I had to, you know, make sure that I was doing my studies and working three jobs and doing all these things. But the change that you did then is not going to, like it might not get you to the next level. Um, It was good for that time in your life, but now you're moving on to something else and you're like, okay, I can't do what I've done before because I will continue to stay stuck. I won't reach the level that I'm trying to reach. So change can be scary, but I have just been thinking about my life and thinking about the things that I wanted at 14 years years old or 16 years old or even 20, 23 24 years old, right? Like I turned 25 in May and I'm thinking about all the things in my life that have changed. And I'm also thinking about like the things that I wanted. And I think back to high school and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, can you imagine if I had gotten everything that I was like praying and dreaming for if I was in like high school, right? Like I was thinking about these things. I was like, oh my gosh, like, wouldn't it be so cool to do this or have that or marry this person? And I have to like sit back and think, oh my gosh, like I'm so glad that wasn't my life. I'm so glad that I didn't go down that path or things were moved and shifted out of my path. So I didn't, you know, continue on. Change can be good. Change can mean progress. It can mean that you are taking a road that is unknown. And for myself, I just have been super, super grateful for everything that has been changed in my life. I had a very, very specific plan growing up. I wanted this, I wanted that. Um, And I think about it now. I, when I was like 13, 14, 15, it was all in my brain that I would get married at like 20 and have a baby by 23 because that's when my mom had me and then have uh, like five children right like and i don't know what the future holds for me so even if i sit here today and i think oh like what i'm dreaming and wishing of it could still change and change is good you do not have to stay the same person that you were in high school or that you were in college or even the same person that you were yesterday. This honestly, like I have been struggling through this so much and just thinking, oh my gosh, like do I stick to the narrative that everybody knows me by or stick to this life or stick to this path or stick to this thing that it seems like everybody is encouraging me on or do I take the 
plunge? Do I take the chance? Do I step out on my own? And do I do something that I've never done before, right? That can be so, so scary. I know I'm like shaking in my boots right now. <laughs> like It's just, honestly, it's hard to break out of the expectations of others. And when you're doing that, you're changing. So you might have been influenced when you were younger or influenced by a spouse, a family member, or even a friend. Like sometimes our friends have so much influence over us um, from the things that we wear to the things that we do. I, like there's been so many trends that I picked up because I saw my friend doing it and I was like, oh, like that's so fun. Like what? <laughs> I want to try, right? So we all have these things where we're like, oh, like that's trendy or that's fun and we're influenced in one way or another. And I just think, okay, like when will it be the right time to choose the things that I want to choose or do the things that I want to do or even step outside of that narrative a little bit of what people think about you or what they say about you or um who they think you should be right because in reality everybody has like their own version of you in their head from a small interaction to like a big interaction um if you meet someone in the starbucks line and you're completely zoned out you stayed up super super late last night and you were just needing that quad espresso whatever it is they might perceive you as rude because you didn't talk to them in the line right like that was your true authentic self right like that was your you that's how you felt in the moment that those were your emotions but is that a true display of like your care like your character i don't know like is it are you normally upset and grumpy or was that a one-off day right so everybody has their own opinions of you and it could be so quick as that 30 second reaction to someone first meeting you it you could be running late i know there's been so many times where i had that first impression opportunity and i totally botched it i was like oh crap like i'm not dressed in the way that i want to be dressed and not portraying my true self i'm you know running around or doing this or maybe i don't feel the best or i forgot to put some concealer on or whatever it is we all have these things that are like oh like that stress us out for no reason and our confidence might be lowered in that moment and so when we meet that person or talk to that person they they automatically i mean it's human nature as hard as i try not to we immediately judge a person when we see them and we're already putting them in a box and we are already like calculating okay this person is in this area of our life like they will probably not go into this area of my life right like if you meet a friend and she is just on one she is so excited so happy and you immediately categorize her okay like this this person is only on my if i want to have a good time they might be really charismatic really carefree um and every time you talk to them it could be like a very surface level conversation that might not be their personality they might just have like a little bit of anxiety when they go out so they feel like they have to put on a put on a show right like i've felt pressured to put on a show or be a certain version of myself or the people around me right and so that might not be their true authentic self but you automatically have put them in a category of okay like this friend if something huge and serious in, is happening in my life I'm not going to be able to rely on them or ask them for like a serious opinion because they're so carefree like they don't they don't really um fit the criteria of a serious friend so if we are basing opinions on people so carefree right like we don't get to know the person we don't like truly understand their passions or where they're coming from or what they're doing how and why should we think that they know everything about us when they've met us a handful of times or maybe it is someone who is very close to you a parent a colleague a uh, a spouse whatever like a girlfriend a boyfriend a roommate who you spend a bulk amount of your time with you might be thinking, oh, well, you know, 
my boyfriend really, really knows me well, but how well does he actually know you? I mean, Gary and I have been married, it'll be three years in October, and I think, how, how like, much do I know about Garrett? How much does he know about me? And we've been dating since, you know, 2017, right? And we change every single day and we pick up new hobbies and we pick up new trends, um, and <laughs> new sayings, and we're influenced by the people around us. And so even him and I have been trying to learn something from the other, you know, every single day. Um, but the pressures when people like expect you to be in a box or, you might have said something, and I'm so strategic when people ask me, oh, like, what do you want for Christmas or your birthday, right? Because as soon as you say, oh my gosh, like, I really like white owls. They are so beautiful and like perfect. Or me, like, I love hummingbirds so much. I could say, oh, like, I love hummingbirds. Or I love cow print. No, as soon as you say that, everybody immediately categorizes you and you will just get that for Christmas for the rest of your life. They will get it for every single holiday, anniversary, Valentine's Day, Easter, Christmas, anything, your birthday, you will be getting something in the fashion of, oh, like here's little hummingbird earrings or I got you a cow print pillow. like. I just because I like it doesn't mean I want to live in it, right? Like it reminds me of the woman who had a completely pink house and she loved the color pink and everything was pink. Like I don't want to be categorized in any of those areas, right? Because people do not let you forget it. They do not let you forget what you said, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. You are allowed to change. I am allowed to change. I'm trying to remind myself that. Like, just because a person sees me in a certain category does not mean that I have to stick to that category. It does not mean that I have to stick to their expectation of me. And at one point in your life, you might have truly, truly wanted that thing. You wanted to be a biologist. You wanted to have seven children. You know what? You do not have to stick with that. You do not, your dreams will change. You will change and that is okay. So do not let anybody place their, what is it, shackles or handcuffs or hold you back from what you truly want to be doing because in all honesty, they change, right? They're not the same person that they were at 14, 15, 12, 10, whatever. Every single age, every single day is a new opportunity to challenge your thoughts, your dreams, your emotions, everything, right? And I try so hard to just like self-reflect a little bit. I will read back from journals or uh, um, my calendars, honestly, are so fun to go through. I love going through my calendars from like years prior and just thinking, oh, like that's what I was doing. Those were the people I was hanging out with. I put that in my schedule or I did that or whatever. It's so fun to look back and think, oh, like in those moments, I truly wanted it. In those moments, X, Y, Z haven't happened yet. So I didn't like have these feelings because when our life events happen, our feelings can change, our emotions can change, our wants and our needs can change. So it's okay. And you don't need to be embarrassed about what you wanted in that moment, in that time, because you wanted it in that moment and in that time. But now you can want something totally different and you can want to be someone totally different you are allowed to change and you are allowed to reinvent yourself any time you want. You have the power inside of you. You do not need to listen to what Grandma Jan says about you, right? Like you do not have to fit in a box because you are completely unique and you have interests and hobbies and different things and you don't have to stick with that forever, right? Like you don't have to be that forever because change is the only thing that stays constant. So feel free to change. Feel free to tell, you know, whoever who's wanting to stick you in a box or put you here or there, 
hey, like, I wanted that at that time, at that age, in that moment. But actually, my dreams have changed. And you don't even have to share that new dream with them. You might keep it safe to yourself. And that's okay, too. So... I hope this was inspiring. I hope that you feel that you can change and do whatever the heck you want because you are you and you're allowed to change and you're allowed to pick and choose. And I hope that was very freeing for you. I'm still trying to do it myself. I'm still trying to fight against the status quo myself or the expectations of others. It, it's hard. I'm with you. I, I, I get it. I totally do. So, um, I hope that you have a wonderful end to your week. Thank you for watching or listening. I had some troubles with YouTube for Monday's episode, so I'm so, so sorry if you were looking forward to that. My file kept corrupting. I'm so mad. Hopefully this one will go up way better, but um, thank you for listening, watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.